This video was originally going to be titled My First Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Memories or something like that, and I was already halfway done with it, but for the past four days I've had a horrible case of food poisoning that's left me confined to my bed, and I've been rushing to the bathroom every 10 minutes either to throw up or discharge massive amounts of liquid from my ass. As if the 100 degree fevers and overall feeling of wanting to die weren't enough, this food poisoning's also kind of hurt my ego a bit. I've always prided myself in having an iron stomach because in El Salvador, I'd drink dirty tap water after playing soccer with my friends and I never got sick. I'd also buy all sorts of street food wherever I went. Pupusas, choripanes, yuca con pepeshka. None of these food stands have any sort of quality control or seal of approval from any food and health board, but I'd eat everything and it was never a big deal. This is only the second time in my life I've had food poisoning. The first time was in San Francisco. Jenny and I stopped at a subway and I got myself a chicken teriyaki footlong, and then I had the brilliant idea to order some chicken teriyaki from a Chinese place to stuff my sandwich with it even more. The chicken teriyaki was delivered to our apartment. I crammed all of it into the subway and I marveled at my genius as I ate it. Until later that night, I woke up with an extreme urge to puke my guts out, which I proceeded to do for the rest of the night. Jenny had tried a bite of my Frankenstein sub hours earlier and she also got food poisoning from it. It was way worse for her because she has a huge fear of throwing up. She absolutely hates it. But I was a okay with it because I'd gotten used to vomiting from all my years of drinking. Me and my friends would sometimes force ourselves to throw up so we could keep drinking throughout the night, and we all had our own techniques. I'd always use my index finger and I couldn't throw up unless I got down on all fours, but one of my friends could only throw up if he was standing up straight with one hand against the wall to support himself, and we always thought that was a pretty badass way of doing it. Another one of my friends couldn't use his index or middle finger to make himself vomit. For some reason he always had to use his thumb or else it wouldn't work, so he'd jam his thumb down his throat and he'd always get his hand covered in his own puke because of his quirky technique. I'll stop talking about the puke stuff now because I'm sure some of you dudes are getting grossed out. I was on the verge of throwing up just drawing those last few scenes of me throwing up, which combined with my high fever made for a weird moment of life imitating art, and it made me think about Chuck Palahniuk and how he'd make people in the audience faint when he'd read guts to them out loud all those years ago. So San Francisco was the first food poisoning, when I flew too close to the sun like some sort of teriyaki Icarus, and Jenny and I were sick for a day or two days days at most. This most recent food poisoning has been probably 10 times worse. How it happened was, Jenny and I spent Thanksgiving with some of her relatives four days ago, and I still don't know what exactly fucked me up so much, but I have my theories. Maybe the turkey leg I enjoyed eating so much had been swiped from the table just minutes before by some guy, and he used the turkey leg that I ended up eating to wipe his ass. He put the turkey leg back on the table, hoping nobody would notice, and I got a bad roll of the dice. Little did I know when I was saying, Wow, I love the spices on this turkey, it really makes the flavor pop. I was actually tasting someone's butt particles or something. Or maybe the person in charge of making the pumpkin pie made it using a jack-o'-lantern left over from last Halloween, who knows. They seem like real outlandish theories, but I swear, it's the only way to explain just how shitty I've felt ever since that Thanksgiving dinner. It kind of sucks because after the chicken teriyaki sub incident, I haven't had chicken teriyaki in any form ever again. My caveman brain subconsciously reminds me that these berries I picked almost got me killed that one time. I'm just worried that every Thanksgiving from now on is gonna bring back memories of how sore my asshole was from days of severe diarrhea, or the intense heartburn I felt from all the projectile vomiting I had. Just browsing the internet right now, I stumbled onto stuff like how to make all your Thanksgiving leftovers into waffles, and I just about threw up on the spot. I figure that Thanksgiving shouldn't be all about the food though, it should be about giving thanks. And I can honestly say that this Despite my condition, it's still been awesome reading through you dudes' comments on my previous video. It helped me gather up the strength to at least make this, so I just wanted to say thank you. I'll have something more in line with how I typically do it on my channel next time, but for now, I'm gonna be sitting on the toilet and drinking tons of Pedialyte with the hopes of getting better soon.